Let's play Mad Planets by Gottlieb. Because planets get mad too. <laughs> mad Planets. 1983 game made by the pinball manufacturer Gottlieb. Not known for making great video games. Well, some great ones, like Qbert, for example. Maybe Reactor on some people's lists. But not too many great games. Me? I happen to like Mad Planets a lot. This cabinet that you see right here in this image on the screen would have been in a lineup that might have looked like this, except it wouldn't have because I wouldn't have seen a Dig Dug back in the day that looked like that one, at least not, not anywhere around here. But certainly a Qbert machine. But where did I play it? This store right here, the 7-Eleven. Where our 7-Eleven was, and it looked a lot like this one, right where that man is walking into the store, if you would have taken a hard left turn and walked right back into the little arcade room back there, you would have found, well, it took some time, some years, but eventually you would have seen a Mad Planets game there. And that is why this game means something to me. 1,500 units sold, that's not very many. But it did come out in early 83, so we're right up against the arcade crash of that era. I hope that those images there, if you look at them, bring back a little bit of a nostalgic vibe with you because they sure do me. And if you're my age, it's it's really cool. And if you're younger and you, you happen to you know wonder what it was like to live and grow up as a kid, like these guys here on these bikes back in this day, this is what it was like, man. It was kind of like what you see in these images. So, what about Mad Planets? The control panel. You can see you have a joystick that looks a lot like a Tron or Satan's Hollow joystick. Operates the same way. It moves four different ways. Well, eight ways, right? You can do diagonals, of course. And you point your asteroids-looking ship in the direction with the rotate spinner. So that means already this is going to be quite difficult for me to maneuver my, my ship around because I don't have a spinner here. That's okay. We'll make do with a keyboard. Here is the flyer for the game, and it has some nice graphics there at the top. Meet the challenge of their fury. The mad planets. Oh my gosh, are they mad. You and your ship are trapped in the path of the approaching planets, all intent on destroying you. So everything wants to kill you, which kind of follows the theme of all arcade games, right? Well, let's check out this game. So here we are in demo mode, and you can see this gigantic ship that we have, which already means that we are, we are already a giant collision domain ready to happen. The planets, not much bigger than you are, big still, they are launching little planets, or I guess these are orbiting moons, we would call them. And whenever they get done, let's say you shoot all the orbiting planets that are connected to them, they get really mad. Like this one's gonna turn red, and he got it. Our, our demo shooter. Um, here's one, it looks like Earth there. Now look at it, freak out. It's gonna freak out. Oh, he got it. This one's rather big. Let's see what happens. It's getting a little wild too. As they get madder, they get redder, I think. And we've got some little astronauts that for some reason are just ejected out into space and they, th they, they move around in a really strange way. So it's somewhat hard to predict. Now I need to say here, you're looking at a score here. My last score is blinking 11,000, 14,000 being my high. I wanna try to take it down and I'll talk about the game a little bit more. But at the end of this, I got to show you the 11 year old that scored a million points on this game. So we'll have to give this kiddo some kudos, right? Let's jump into the game. That's, that, listen to that coin drop. That is a Cubert coin drop sound. Okay, one of the things you're gonna pick up too is the soundtrack for this thing. It is so good. I like it. Back then it was some rock techo, techno kind of sound. I thought it was cool. Okay. So getting kind of getting my controls down here. Okay, I got some planets. I can kill these planets before they become full size, and I just did and got a perfect round. So then really the game, the name of the game here, early on at least, is to try to get a perfect round. So I'm ready to go. Round two. 
Oh, I missed one. And that might have been the... Oh, I had my fingers on the wrong controls to ro rotate my ship. This is going to be brutal. Get over here. There we go. Finally, you're done with round two. Round three, purple. I've already lost two of them. Yeah. Comets are nice to hit, too. Moons are not good to collide with you. If you hit comets, you, you can increase your score quite a bit. Uh, because they will incrementally get higher, I think. Okay, now I've got like a little bonus round here. Gotta get these little comets. In, in, oh, see, they left. So my bonus round is already over. Yeah, you gotta wipe out these comets. Gosh dang. Man, this game. Uh, this game is like Robotron intense. Look at him trying to kill you. Everything's trying to, to swing around and pop you. I've got to move around like one direction here with my <laughs> with my rotation so I can kind of keep some sort of idea on how to control this thing. Oh, crazy. I'm embarrassed. Let's play it again. This time I'm going to try to concentrate a little bit more. But it's really the same thing over and over again. Um, we have comets to come out. You have astronauts to pick up. You've got planets that are going to gonna grow out of nothing. Um, and you can take them down before easily before they get big. It's a vertical game. So if you park halfway, if, if you're playing at the bottom, you got that entire vertical space. But if you're playing off to the left or right, um, you can cut that. I'm sorry. That is true, actually. You have the entire vertical space. If you play left and right, you're playing almost like a horizontal line that you're trying to shoot and rotate around it, it actually just seems to cut the work in half because you can only shoot so far right let me just jump in and you see what's going on okay now i can kind of park where i need to park somewhere in here bend down bend down oh see there's there's the problem again just being able to really get some good control on this thing but that's okay because I suck anyway see if I can get another perfect round if I'm lucky no yep ah I just couldn't get in there where I needed to get in there so I've got three planets that are gonna it's gonna be a little tough for me oh come on dude just turn a little bit God, I'm not even gonna get one of these okay I got I did get one Yep, so this kid that got the high score, man, watching him play, I watched a little bit of a video, which I have linked in my uh, in my links for the Silverball um, channel here related to Let's Play an Arcade Game. Um, man, he's amazing. Gosh, he's just so cool to watch him play. Oh, look at that. I look like a pro just then. I might even beat my 14,000. Who knows? Uh, nope, I'm going to be in trouble. I mean, I'm not going to beat it at this point. Maybe I will, though. I, I, I have hope. Ah. I can I can always have hope. Right? Whoop, whoop. Come on. Got it. Every little 100-point combat helps, right? Ooh. Yeah, a lot of this is just luck, and for me it is. It's, you're flying around here, you're trying to move around, keep some sort of rhythm in your movement, and not collide with something that's trying to kill you like that. But hey, I did beat my previous best in the simulator, so I'm gonna just, I'll just take that and be happy. Okay, so let's kill some comets. I'm just gonna focus on comets here for a minute. Oh, I don't see them incrementing in their value. So maybe it's all about to, come on, dude. Ah, all that shooting and I didn't get it? Oh, I just did then. It did increment its value. It seemed like I had two of them worth 100, so maybe that first one didn't count toward this bonus round. I sacrificed my body for 500 points and 20,000 total. So, hey, not too bad, not too shabby. Yeah, I'm in big trouble. Let's see how many big planets we can get out here at one time. Look in the center of the screen. We had some twinkling going on. It looked like we had a whole bunch of planets to come out. Whew. Okay, well, that's 20,000. And I'm feeling pretty good about that for me. That game did not take long. This is a, a Williams class game, in my opinion. 
Now, as I mentioned, we have a kid that absolutely destroyed any previous world record. And here is a web page, madplanets.com slash world record. Madplanets.com. I, I didn't even know that such a web page existed. Anyway, look at this guy. This young fellow right over here in the Twin Galaxies poster. Looks just like a small little dude, man. Um, reading through this, and I can summarize this, this little guy starts playing in February of 2016 at Galloping Ghost, which is a great place, and you should go see it. You should go play there, spend a whole day there, maybe a whole weekend there. It's in the Chicagoland area. Great owners, great, great people. Love them. Anyway, kid starts playing in February, and then by May... It says he held the house high score, so the highest score at Galloping Ghost, 258,000. Then he goes a few months later in September and beats a guy's high score from 2001 by hitting half a million. Then July, he beats that, it says in front of people. That's cool, 268,000. That one is recognized by Twin Galaxy. So you have to have somebody that's going to watch it like a judge in order to get that one recorded. Does it again with a million, over a million points. So he almost doubles his score all within from February 2016 to September 2016. This is a beautiful story, man. I love this. The whole idea of a kid, 11 years old. At, uh, at 2016, so what? Born in 2005. This game comes out in 83. So what is that? 22 years after the game was, was created and released in the wild, this young kid is born and then goes and plays the game when he's 11 and destroys everybody's high scores. Great story. Now, if you want to see the video, I think I mentioned this earlier, um, you can see him hit the world record the first time at 568,000. I have that saved in, in on my page here on YouTube under links for Let's Play an Arcade Game. Go check that out. Watch this kid play. Uh, perspective isn't great, but, but you can absolutely see some techniques there. And as always, please leave me some feedback. Tell me why I suck at Mad Planet. Tell me if you hate the game and why you hate it. Or if you like it, like me, tell me why. Got a good memory about this game? Share it. Did you play it at 7-Eleven? What game did you play at 7-Eleven?